Hey guys, welcome back to another video from uh, sysadmin102. Uh, in today's video, it's kind of behind the scene kind of thing. I'm actually going to share with you uh, the behind the scene, actually what happened. So actually, while organizing the network panel, I actually yanked out the fiber optic cable. Yay. Yeah, it's not fun at all. Um, tried to contact uh, Cox Cable to have them come out and do it. Uh, but they're not going to be able to have uh, the technician come out for another few days. So that's going to happen. Uh, I need the internet and I'm going to try to attempt to fix it myself. Um, never work on fiber optic. Uh, this is my first time. So we'll see if we work. Uh, I'm going to order some item. item. I'm going to show you what I order and let's get started. All right. So these are the items that I got from uh, Amazon. Uh, some of it may be a little more expensive. Um, you probably can find a cheaper one, but because I need it and I need it like by today, the next day. So some of the item might be a little bit more expensive than it typically would, but regardless, it's still pretty cheap. So I got the, um, fiber optic stripper, uh, for like $21. And then I got the, um, SC connector, uh, fiber optic uh, connector for like six of them, pack of six for like 26, almost $27. Um, and lastly, it's a fiber cleaver. Uh, you can just cut the fiber optic uh, in order to terminate it. You need a special tool to cut it. And these are what they think it's for. Uh, this thing is like $25, $26. Uh, you might be able to get it for a little bit cheaper. Um, all the items gonna be inloaded in the uh, descriptions if I able to get it to work so we'll see and in addition to that I already have uh, alcohol at home it's 70% it's not really uh, that great 100% would be better uh, but regardless it's not for fiber optic but since I don't have any and I wasn't able to buy any for the next day delivery uh, I'm just gonna have to use this for now and hopefully it will work and uh, also you're gonna need a, another cloth that lint free uh, so you can clean the uh, fiber optic cable alright first thing safety first uh, make sure you wear uh, safety glasses uh, the reason being that the fiber optic is super super thin you probably uh, kind of difficult to see it there we go you kind of can see it. It's super, super thin. If it get into your eye, yes, you will have a bad day. So make sure you wear uh, safety glasses. Um, so as you see, there is an inner layer and then like a clear um, coat. Uh, again, I don't know what it's called. I don't work on fiber optic. I'm just trying to fix it and get my internet working without waiting for three, four, five days for a cox cable. So yeah. So you got the the, uh, the outer uh, cover and there's some fiber in here and then you have like another plastic split. So first thing, uh, if you're using uh, the tool that I recommend it, uh, there is three different holes. So the one, the more outside one, we're going to use that and we're going to strip out the um, outside cover. So that give us a little bit more room to work with. All right, and then I would remove this fiber as well. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. So all the way inside. Doesn't seem to work that great. All right, I'm gonna use another electrical cutting tool and cut this up. Make it easier. Again, I'm not a professional, so I'm gonna try to get the thing to work. So it might not might not work, but we'll see. All right, there we go. Clear. Next, we're gonna strip the plastic cover. Uh, you probably gonna need the around 11 centimeters so but then we need some room to work with and enough for you to put it on the clever so i will strip around um, uh, i would say one and a half inches 
So right about here. So again, we're going to use the second one, the second hole from the top to the bottom. We can use the second one. And just like that, remove the whole thing. Uh, some people would like to do it, you know, um, a little bit, uh, just part of it and one by one to make it a whole big sections. Because if you remove like the big portions, sometimes it will cut off the actual uh, optic inside. And then it pro it's probably difficult to see it, uh, but there is, as you see the top one, that the small portion is already uh, scraped up. Uh, it's like a coating. So we have to remove that coating uh, as well. And in here, you would use the third one to remove that coating. Might be a little bit difficult to see with my uh, camera, but hopefully you can see it. So all the way inside and then all the way in with the top one. And then as uh, you see, the coating actually came out. All right. And since we don't actually have fiber optic uh, cleaning solution, I'm gonna use alcohol. Again, it's not a perfect solution, but this is what I have for now. So hopefully it will work. All right. Clean free uh, cloth. All right. All right, and then we're gonna clean the cable. Yep, make sure that you get all the coating up of it. Super, super thin. Yep. All right. And now the difficult part, hopefully I can show you on the camera. Uh, might be difficult, but we'll see. Hopefully I'm able to get it. So hopefully you can see it, but if you're not, I'm gonna include the picture in here. So as you see right here, as I'm moving it, the, the actual plate is super sharp to cut the fiber up stick. So don't stick your finger in there. Uh, in here is the holder. So it's gonna hold the uh, cable in place while we're cutting it. Uh, and on here it have like a mark, um, number 18 that right next to the clever right here and then number 13 and then 8 and anything in between the, the number so typical for these uh, fiber optic f terminating for like Cox cable or AT&T or Verizon it probably at um, uh, 11 inches uh, but again it depends on the type of connector um, if you're using the, uh, the one that I included in the link for the connector it's gonna be 11 inch if you're using any other, um, typically they're going to have the template that come with it. You would pop the thing up and then uh, you would line up your cable to the outside one. Actually, you have to pop it up the uh, kind of recycle pin on the side. And then you line it up your cable and kind of push the lever down. All right. Yeah, it's a little bit difficult to try to uh, ring it right next to the camera and try to light up on the scale at the same time. So we're gonna pull it out a little bit and move it toward 11 to 13, 11, perfect. All right, and once you've done that, We're gonna make sure it's straightened. All right, maybe using the, the bottom one, it's a little bit better. Yep, the bottom one is better. So we're gonna light up on the bottom one. Okay, there we go, straight. Perfect. So we're gonna light up at the 11 millimeter. 
all right so after you lock it up at the 11 mark you would close it and then if you see the push right there you would push that thing don't push it i need it because the fiber optic it might fly out there we go and then you open it and then slide that fiber optic into the recycle bin and make sure that you dump it out all right and then we're gonna pop up the lever and take out a cable and we'll see if it works all right so here i got a connector uh it have the cover on top here and we're gonna keep it on so typically you have to have like a foul indicator uh, that you hook it up to to see it but i don't have one right now and you know uh, this is just me swinging thing hopefully it's gonna work so we'll see if it is so actually one thing i forgot uh there is a little tube um that supposed to come on it first before i start stripping but since i forgot to do it we're gonna put it back in all right we're gonna slide back and then because i did that uh just have to clean it one more time just to make sure all right the way it's working it, right now this thing it kind of pop up the the clamber so if you pop it the uh, butterfly thing out uh, the clamber is gonna clamp on that uh, fiber up stick so what you're gonna do is we're gonna get it into this hole and then you're gonna feel it when it it, it stop uh, again we don't have the foul um, locator so it's make it difficult to try to figure out so this is just me uh, literally putting in the cable until it stop and then when it stop I'm gonna pop the thing and they're gonna remove the clamp inside and they're gonna keep the cable in there and then once you've done that you can put on the cap in the back and we'll see all right so right here first thing we're gonna remove the um, cover cap all right and then we're gonna lie it up Remember this uh, little tiny thing that's sticking out, it's gonna be uh, on top. Well, it depends on how your cable box is, but you know what I mean. And then we're gonna plug it in there. And we'll see if it works. All right, it didn't, which means that it didn't light up uh, correctly. We have to adjust it again. All right, so unfortunately it didn't work. Uh, the number one thing about fiber off the cable, it the lane have to be right and then uh, as well at the um, cable it have to be clean if it's dirty it's not gonna work so with that we're gonna redo it again I put the cap back on and then uh, we're gonna put the clip back on to remove the cable so there are two sides to it uh, and this side have two holes that's where it's gonna go make sure that it uh, all move all the way forward and then you put the clip back on right on top of it all right it's gonna look like that and then you press it down there you go when you hear to pop it's gonna pop the cable right back out uh oh all right i have to put it through this again yeah it's not that easy <laughs> but we're gonna try to get it work okay so then uh, we're gonna clean it And we're gonna put it back on again. Just stop when you feel like a cable is like touching on the inside. And then we would pop the clip. That's gonna lock the cable in. All right, and we're gonna remove the uh, cover tube. And let's see. All right, I'm gonna plug it back in. Well, good news, coming up. Yes. 
there we go I got internet back on and I don't have to pay uh, Cox $75 to come out and fix my cable uh, alright let reconnect this cable real quick yes we're gonna do a quick uh, speed test to um, the way that I'm terminating the cable by all means and not professional way at all and it might affecting the um, transfer speed and data speed so we'll see if actually uh, the internet actually working now we're gonna run a speed test on my phone All right, and it expected that the speed I pay for, so yay, we got it working. Again, this is only just a behind the scene video. Uh, I hope if you ever break your fiber optic in the future, hopefully not like me, uh, you're able to figure out how to fix it. Uh, it's not that easy, it takes some learning curve, but um, I able to fix it and don't have to wait for a few days for Cox technician to come out and fix it. Uh, again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.